All right, Mr. Ishigami, uh, looks like the blood transfusion was successful. So as long as you don't do anything super crazy, like, I don't know, do a triple barrel roll on a shoddily crafted World War II plane, you really should be fine. Where the fuck is the patient? Dr. Stone, Thurman has a mic. It's happened. Yeah, we were just talking about, uh, you know, while we were doing that. Play Mobile Grand Brawler, a new game by Crunchyroll and Viz Media. Apparently they made play. an app together. It's on the top of the page, yeah. <laughs> that, that will be like if we had sponsors, right? Like before we start this video. I wish. <laughs> Get us sponsors! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job, imagine. Okay, so before you even begin, bro, first first starting off, Doctor Stone with a tangent, right? Now, before you even begin, bro, okay. how would you, if you were given, we were getting responses, right? How would you do the sponsor? Like, how would you be like? Oh, hundred percent trollish. Like, uh, there's YouTube. I gotta show you my um, my favorite YouTuber is Achievement Hunter. Uh, they have a podcast called the Off Topic Podcast, and every time they do that, the, specifically uh, this one guy named Jeff, whenever he reads the the ad reads, he's just like ridiculous about like with me undies. He's like he's like you know they have this silk f- fine linen to cradle your family jewels. Other new, other underwear, it's like sandpaper grinding your dick off. You don't want that. <laughs> I love shit like that. <laughs> That is great. All right. That's a great start with Dr. Stone already. Now here, I want to start with something. The color page. So they, they voted on the top three, like, inventions or whatever, like the scientific in, uh, creations of, of Senku and, and team. And mm-hmm. obviously, Co- the Coke winning, the Katana being up there, all makes sense. The, all, all good moments. I love that third place is drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so so like, from afar, it looks like Coca-Cola, Katana, and a little bit of cocaine and a leaf. <laughs> Yeah, I love to see it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Sometimes, uh, when... <laughs> you know what? That's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's too dark. So, Listen, um... you can't effectively be a pimp without some drugs to hook your uh, hook your clients or clientele on. Is it clientele? Mm-hmm. What is it called? Not the. Hold on a second. Hey Siri, define clientele. Is that just clients? Clientels. No. What's okay? So the... not the customers, but like your, I guess, employees. Yeah. What do pimps call their women? O's. <laughs> oh, this sounds so bad. <laughs> I, I mean, Hose, I'm not, not specifically, but like because I'm no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying like that. That's what they call them. Like yeah, no, oh, you're right. Anyway, the joke was they, either they way get their women hooked yeah, on drugs, yeah. and so they don't have to pay them, but they can pay them with drugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Such a Pimps. lighthearted joke to start out this Doctor Stone chapter. <laughs> hey, um, so so those two of... strongest fighters besides Sukasa in the group uh, just got shoulder fucked or checked, I suppose. Uh, before we begin, uh, can we like appreciate this big woman right here, page one right now? Like, we, we have like, in the past appreciated her. I just don't want you to bro, think that she's a like, new character because sometimes you'd be dude. done like that. I want people to understand big muscly women. I'm a fan, hundred percent. See now, this is where. I differ, and and in some circles I'd be canceled. But you know, you can't fucking get mad at me for a sexual preference. I just, I can't control it. Um, <laughs> but like, eh, no, not my thing. A little much. Body types, bro. Body types are like, I'm not that big a person of body type, bro. But I'm be, I'm be honest. Mm, I'm loving it. There's a level uh, for me. There's a level, right? So like, um, Mirko from My Hair Academia. That is like peak woman muscle because she had some muscle, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm trying to think of I've seen other ones where it's like really good to me. It's just like with boob size. There's a level, right? Like once you go above, like I think my max boob size is like Rangiku from Bleach. Like that's about as big as it can be before it gets a little ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and then same thing with here. Like she just goes a bit above like the muscle. Because again, uh, I've had this conversation with my roommate Justin. I'm attracted to femininity. Right, Femin- you know the stereotypical femininity thing, right? So like this more small, slender, um, just generally smaller and thinner in stature. It's what I'm attracted to, you know. Um, just I'd just be like that, <laughs> you know. And I hate to fuck it, which makes me think. And we've talked about this before, Thurman. I still think you're bi. What I'm gonna help you come out of that closet. <laughs> and I would be so ex- no one would be more excited if you came out than me. I'd be like, yeah, we'd throw, we'd have a coming out party on the channel. We'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. David's know. canonically fucking. Um, whoa, I forgot the word for it. Nine non-binary is that what he? And pansexual. He, he has all the labels, bro. Like, listen, 
we we can't have two straight guys on the channel. One is the acceptable limit. <laughs> One is the acceptable limit. <laughs> I get to be the straight white guy, the boring fucking cancelable guy, and then you two come straight in with all these fancy little adjectives. <laughs> we have the spectrum of weird. It gets like progressively like stranger. You have like uh, I'm the, the hello. I'm a straight white uh, man from Michigan, and then you're like, yes, I'm a black bi man from Vegas, and then David's like, what's up? I'm a non-binary pansexual pink-haired fucking femboy twink. We have everything you can ask for. <laughs> We're getting all sides of the spectrum on the channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. And whenever we need a woman's voice, we're just calling our artist, Utena. 18-year-old from Florida. We got everything, bro. I'm so happy about our fucking uh, spectrum of the channel here, honestly. We did it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, boys. We ended all conflict. All human conflict has been ended. All we needed was one of everything on a YouTube channel. Talking about manga and video games. Yeah, anime, yeah. nerd culture brings together everybody. We gotta go on. We gotta go to like fucking Somalia and get like a Somalian like monk from the mountains. I don't even know if any of that shit is accurate. What I just said, and then be like, "You ever heard of fucking anime? About to." Oh my! No, we're doing the big mom shit for a YouTube channel. We want one of every race. Oh my! <laughs> Beautiful man. I miss doing videos with you. <laughs> yeah, for the so, let's videos. talk about Doctor Stone, bro. And Brockers. So, all right. So, besides the beautiful, beautiful, big, muscly women over there, snoo snoo for life. You know? Oh, um, can we talk so, about that scene while we're while we're there? By the way, I love how quickly she dispatched them. <laughs> like she goes in there, and then like a page later, she's like, "All right, that's done." Mm-hmm. Because it's crazy. Because oh, you're because you're not on the new chapter. You're on chapter. I'm one. looking at both chapters. Oh, uh, okay. We can talk about so, both. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I let me go to that chapter then, because I'm on the new chapter. I'm on both, uh, my guy. Oh, so you have Viz up and you have two different tabs. Ooh, smart boy, smart know, boy. What a fucking, what a fucking beautiful <laughs> man I am. <laughs> That's why I thought you were bringing up the big woman, because like I'm thinking of the page from the last chapter where it was just a full ass page of her with her grabby hands. Like I figured that was what was getting y'all hot and bothered. Oh yeah, that that too, bro. Like, but like, <laughs> now, you want to talk about my type, bro? I even messaged you this. I don't know who the fuck this this girl in the place of Stanley is with the tight ass like spandex leather suit or. Oh. <laughs> That that's why. <laughs> like I know I have vanilla ass tastes. I'm the boring one because uh, I'm sorry. It does it be doing something to me? Where the fuck is? Oh, I was about to say where the fuck is Doctor Stone? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> One sixty five. Because I love it too, right? So the whole dog fight, by the way, was just really cool. Me by the way, because <laughs> and then they were building a submarine. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good because I weapon. didn't expect it, but it makes total sense. Bro, I bro, we 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 guessed everything except a submarine, a nuke, <laughs> a fucking space satellite laser. Uh, Wait, bro, you know how fucking bro, like low key, like wow. I, I guarantee you, if we made that video, he would be like, oh, obviously it's a fucking submarine, you morons. I'm just like, bro, because I did not expect, like that. I don't, no, I don't think I saw it. anyone say submarine. If so, let me know in the comments. I didn't see it. Cause I'm just like, cause, cause it was it's so obvious now that I think about it. Like it's it's one of those things where I'm just like face palm. Cause it's like that's just so obvious. Those like, are the best kind of reveals. Like, <laughs> like I'm just like, cause I'm impressed too because building a submarine like they must have a lot of like old old like technology they can press. Cause I mean to to be fair they're in America, but even then like you gotta remember that most of the stuff in America is probably like. Whittled down and old or hard to find. So no, all, like, all, they built it from scratch, man. This is just like the knowledge of these people. L remember, it was implied that like th enough time has passed where like basically everything is completely gone. Like 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 even like New York City is completely a forest now. Like like metal glass shit over a period of six thousand years, that's all gonna be gone. Mm. None of this shit is like from the remnants of old shit. Like this is all just because they're from the old world and they like they remember it, so they have they just like drew up blueprints and then they got to work like just like what Senku did, you know. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's because I I love it too because it's so funny how like um <laughs> I'm sorry it's 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 so it's still silly to be to be funny over, but it's just like. Yeah, it's just a, a submarine, bro. We were like, nuke. 
missile, <laughs> like oh, yeah. gun, like a machine gun. Like we were like, or like that all- thing from World of Tanks, where it's like a a tank that hides behind a bush and then it like shoots a missile straight up into the yeah. air and then fucking <laughs> like, falls back. Down. We thought every like, we literally thought they're making like a fucking wet, but they were just like, oh. That's, that's, that's our fucking uh, smooth-brained fucking shonen tard brains coming out. <laughs> I love it though, bro. I love that shit. And like I said, she's like, that takeover took all 10 seconds. Mind if I sing a song? Mm. Mwah. Uh, all this to say, moving back. Uh, also, I'm going to take this opportunity because I promised that our last Dr. Stone review was like three weeks ago. And um, I did, and it was the one that me and David did actually. And I wanted to shout out I don't remember the name of the person, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, there was someone in the comments who was actually an asexual. And uh, we were making a lot of uh, jokes about um, Senku and how, like, I was, I think David or I or one of us brought up, like, a joke about, like, Senku, like, you know, like, you know, maybe he should just try sex once just to see if he likes it. You know what I mean? Uh, because the, obviously Senku is, you know, we're all, like, obviously he's asexual. And they, they got a little upset about that because, um, you know, we're like, well, that's something that we're told a lot as asexuals and that hit a trigger point for me. And I thought that was a fair point and I promised them that I'd apologize in the next Dr. Stone review. So I, I did want to apologize for that. And I figured that was fair considering considering you as an asexual just had to sit through uh, 19 minutes of sex talk. Uh, <laughs> apologies, um, asexual person that I forgot the name of. You found two horny boys. Oh, yeah. You know, we don't mean to offend any sex, sex or creed over here. You know, it's just, they're just, keep in mind, guys, they're just jokes. They're not meant to offend. Mm. And you know? and when you're trying to come up with jokes while horny, it's this is where your mind goes, you know? Yeah. So, never Our, take... Us men, we, take, uh, we do think that, with... The peen peen. Sometimes. Yeah, never take our jokes too seriously. We're, we're, you know, we 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 are serious when it comes to stuff like that. We are very pro, hundred percent, everything. You know, pro like we, literally just pro human happiness over here. Yeah, pro human happiness. Yeah. You can check our Twitter. This is why we normally bust a donato before we film Doctor Stone reviews because the the women are too attractive on both sides, bro. Like <laughs> you got yours, I got mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this definitely is going to be an hour. This is a treat for you, Dr. Stone fans. Cause yeah. You know. So, moving on, chapter 165. So I wanted to talk about the theme. I really like the theme of, of these two chapters about, like, the old rules versus the new rules. And mm-hmm. I like how they're like, oh, so in, in, in your world's rules, uh, I suppose when you point a gun at people, they normally stop and put their hands up. But uh, we don't really know about that. Yeah, that was fucking great. And then same thing with the plane stuff where, like, you know – the, I'm trying to remember what the what the idea was with the plane thing. Hold on, let me find it. What did Senku say about the plane thing and the rules? Um, because they use the gas. Was that? Oh, I gotta go back to the last chapter. Hold on. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, like instead of like using the like they faked them out with a machine gun and they use the the science again. So like really that continues to be their main advantage over these people is that like. You know, they never expect like the ga- like like why is he going up? I thought he was gonna shoot me with his machine gun. No, not everything's about fucking guns. We have other solutions because we're thinking. Yeah. yeah, he was like, looks like you know the old rules a little too well, Stanley. That's yeah, yeah, that's what I, I I just thought that was a really great line. Yeah, I love the Island Warriors too because I honestly I was kind of like, cause I, I get it, they're kids versus like adults, but I'm just like, they kind of lost a little bit too quickly, <laughs> a little bit too quickly. <laughs> Like, even, even like uh, Magnus, remember that thing I've told you for months about Dr. Stone fights? Stone fights. I'd get a Dr. Stone fight. Oh, I don't know what this voice is because it sounds like I'm right. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I still guess. was hyped, though. I'm not, I'm not dissing, honestly. Like, I expect the Dr. Stone fights to be nothing. That's not what I want from this series. Um, Stanley is clearly, like, a god-tier fucking sharpshooter. So, like... To me, that makes total sense that he came in and just did that shit. And honestly, I was sitting there like, this is probably the most excited I've gotten out of a Dr. Stone fight. Be it short as it is, that was hype as fuck of him him coming down. Like, shoulder check, shoulder check. Like, ah, that was cool. redirecting the fucking spear with one of his guns. Like, ah, that shit was amazing. I loved it. Yeah, so she he shot, bro. Stanley is definitely a combat veteran for sure. Oh, yeah. I like Stanley. He's probably one of my favorite characters. <laughs> and I love it, too, because... Now it's just like <laughs> Yo, Sukasa, that shit's so hype as fuck. Like genius, genius. Because now you're gonna have Sukasa fucking with a sword up to this fucker's neck. Like, call your boy off right fucking now. And and obviously, you and I have talked. Everyone has talked about how Stanley and uh, Doctor Zeno might have a, a gay thing going on here. 
So I could see normally Stanley, you know, he gives me the vibe of someone who's like, fuck you, nothing you can say can make me stop. But threatening Dr. Zeno might actually make him stop. Probably will. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, too, because shoot, sue me. I completely forgot they were burning a, a fucking hole. To the thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. I thought it would take them way longer to fucking get through oh, that fucking too, tunnel. Dude. I thought it was going to take way longer to reveal what the fuck they were making, too. Legitimately, I thought it was gonna take a long time. Like, I thought we were gonna the, the, like this shit's fucking quick, bro. <laughs> like this is some one piece quickness. <laughs> like they burnt, they got through that tunnel hella quick. Like it took like what two chapters? <laughs> Pro put that shit on turbo mode, <laughs> bro. Like that's I crazy. Just love, by the way, Sukasa coming in there with his big ass Final Fantasy sword too. Like n- don't we can't can't disrespect it. Like fucking just you can see in the background of the panel too. He just fucking swept through his dudes. Like they're just those fuckers are dead. I don't care. What anyone says like that's wild bro like so basically because think about it right here right so they so stanley came in because she was uh so this lady right here oh who, the very attractive was, one. Who, it, it's crazy too because she was actually giving them run for the money regardless she so she could she's, she's clearly not scrub i have a feeling that whoever this lady is, and you know, if we're being dumb and we've seen her before, let us know. I don't remember yeah. her. Yeah, probably a sister, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, like she kind of looks like him, and uh, so, and obviously Stanley has like massive Air Force training, so I can only assume that she's had really intensive Air Air Force training as well, because yeah. she was doing some high level plane shit there like wobbling the plane on purpose on purpose letting it get out of control to dodge potential gunfire that shit is like high level stuff oh yeah so she definitely is a is skilled as herself but i think maybe she's by the uh, way true wokeness is, you know i don't know what i'm sorry i just want to interject here the most attractive feature in anyone fucking intelligence i don't give a fuck <laughs> skill yeah. passion drive like uh, mm-hmm. the, the, she's already looking like hot as fuck with with that badonk and those boobles and that skin tight shit. But then now that I know that she's like a god tier like pilot, that's just like, oh. okay. Anyway, sorry. Continue. Yeah. Okay, Rick. Anyway, oh, uh... but, bro, are you fucking really? Are you really gonna disagree with me and say that like intelligence in a woman isn't like hella attractive? I just, I just did that because you you were roasted my taste earlier in the, in the video. That's that's a, uh, <laughs> get yourself someone you can have long talks with. Otherwise, you're going to fucking pop a cap in your brain after a year. Oh, bro, tr- bro, I, one of the things that's great, but one, of the, one of the things I love is that one, one, one rule we have to, like, even for friendship, bro, like, yeah. we have to talk. Like, the, 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 we can't be forced. They have to be natural. If yeah, I can have 100%. an actual conversation with that you, was my yeah. the one ex girlfriend I I've ever had in my life. It was uh, I tried for a year and uh, just couldn't get the conversations working. <laughs> Even with the same taste, by the way. Yeah, oh yeah, that's how you know. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be a douche and say she was bad at conversations. I'm just gonna think assume that we had different opposing personality types. Like maybe one was more introverted, one was less, you know what I mean? I don't know, but like it just it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So. Um... Because I, I can always assume that she's, like, either – I can always assume two things. Either she's younger sister, maybe, and she's, like, a fucking brocon type of thing, right? Like Brocon? Yeah, you know. What is that? You know, like a syscon. You, you've heard of brocon, right? No, you're going to have to tell me what that means. Okay, I'm going to look it up for you. What, what, if you're saying it, clearly you should know what it means unless you're just being a poser and using that word. No, no, I know what it means, but I would have to, I have to do the – Urban Dictionary, let's go! It's an, it's an anime term, so I have to do it. Basically, it's the brother complex. Oh. You, an adjective used in Japan to determine a girl that likes her bro. You've seen it. So, seen like, it. like fucking uh, ulti in page one. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Give me a piggyback ride, Stanley. <laughs> I can see it. I could definitely see it. Let me look up. You probably know a few, honestly. If I if I, if I I told you page some. Ulti one. Probably... Um, <sighs> I can't. That's the first one that thinks that comes to my brain. Other brothers that like. Uh, I think like, of a. You you read Spike's family, right? Yeah. Uh, in Spike's family, yours it's the opposite. Yours yes, brother yes, is obsessed yes, with yes, her. Yeah. Your, yeah. Your yeah. Your yours brother's a ciscon. Mm-hmm. He's a okay. ciscon. It's the opposite of that, basically, right? Okay. So you know what it is. So you know what it is. You know. Yeah, what it is. I can actually totally see that. And like, she looks like she's fucking like. I don't know. Like, I like her. Her attitude like, like the, from how she's be drawn and how she's talking like i she, she looks like a character i'd enjoy yeah so it's either that or she's probably like she's like stanley's like her mentor 
Yeah, because she is hyping like him up a lot. Like, oh, Stanley would have only needed two. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, either she's like the, the sis, Brocon's younger sister or the uh, cat, like, or like the someone who's been, like, taught by him or something like that. And, you know, she's just, she's just like, you know, very, like, I, like a uh, like Master like, Stanley, I owe like, my life like to you. A big fan, like a big fan. For, yeah, Master. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, I, I got you. That's why I'm here, yeah. man. Can you imagine solo Thurman content? Jesus. Yeah, I already told David that would work. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, wow. So now we're at a stalemate. There's a couple so more things to talk about. Fun. Senku still fucking dumb for getting in this plane, and I gotta be honest. I'm sorry. I I did a little bit of a. Mm, when they crashed the fucking plane and they're just fine. That's a big mm for me. <laughs> oh, plot arc. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Oh, you feel oh. me, right? Like, healthy motherfuckers that would I fuck up. That, but, mm, wow. Yeah, makes sense. Can't can't deny. Healthy motherfuckers. This guy, this guy was, like, bleeding internally <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, funny uh, mm, wow. Ooh, wow. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> It's been a minute, but yeah, you, you got a point. <laughs> it's really been a minute since we've had something like that. Oh fuck! Yeah, no, that's a little. Uh, you know, sometimes you gotta, you got you need to set a tone, Mister Author Man. When is it realistic and when is it funny? Funny, ha ha. That's my issue. Because sometimes I'm like, Senku really didn't have to go on this plane ride. Like I understand he, they, they wanted to use the. Literally, you could have just had Senku. Like, like I thought, I think it'd be cooler and more realistic if they had just wheeled up a fucking like TV tray with a with one of their like radios. Unless, unless you're gonna say maybe they could like intercept the radio, but I don't know, man. Like, is there a way you could do it? Maybe super short range because the plane would just be right above the boat, so it wouldn't get all the way to Zeno. I don't know. It just seems ridiculous to me that Senku was up in that plane. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Um, it, it's been a minute since I fucking realized that, but um, it makes sense. I was, I didn't. You brought it to my attention. I really didn't really understand that. Thurman out here forgetting everything. No, no, no. no, no. I you know what? That. I feel I like for- a cunt now. Hold on. I'm looking at the woman now. Actually, but like I, I was, I was thinking of the other guy. I was thinking of the guy with the fucking. Uh, Grenades, I think. No, no. Who's wasn't there like a stupidly muscly dude? I gotta go back to the other chapter. I think I did. I was thinking of a different character because she's actually now I feel like a real douche because she's actually not as like oversized as I thought. Uh oh yeah no I see I was thinking of um, page fucking. Oh uh, yeah I see. Now, so chapter- uh, you got one sixty five or one sixty five up? Yeah, I can go one sixty five right now. Give me yeah. One do you have it right now? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I okay, do. go to page 10 on 165. Page 10. For some reason, because this one I read last week, so, like, I, I, I just forgot. I, I had this fucking guy in, in my head when you were talking about the, the muscly woman. The, this guy right here on yeah. the left? Page 10. Oh, this guy? Oh, that's what you, that's what you were talking about? So yeah, I I I I was picturing her at like that big. Oh, so, so I'm looking at her now. She's still too muscly for my taste, but she's like all my comments about like, bro, she's like a fucking Bigfoot gorilla. Like that's because I was thinking of that guy's body type. You gotta go to page twelve to eleven, bro. That's where she. I mean, okay, twelve okay, to thirteen. That's where she really shines. Yeah, yeah, no, I see it now. That's my bad. She's actually a lot more realistic there. I, I, I was thinking it was like some biscuit from Hunter X Hunter shit. Do you remember uh, biscuit? Like, like yeah. ridiculous. Like that's what I thought we were. So, so I was, I was like, dude, really? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Nah, it's understandable. Yeah, bro. I just misremembered her proportions. I apologize. Now I sound like an extra coont. Into cool. <laughs> nah, nah. See, best thing about you is you learn from your mistakes, so it's all good. And I'm not gonna fucking belittle you for it, so you know. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Um, I guess is there anything else to talk about here? I like. I do want to say, uh, from 165, I really like. Uh, I'm trying to find the panel where where it's like the fighting crew are walking out because I remember Gin- Ginro's with them. Mm-hmm. And I just yeah, thought that was a really page. cool panel. Like it, he keeps like showing Ginro 
with the boys and like i feel like he's eventually gonna make ginro like part of like the big three as you will of this uh crew yeah yeah i love this fucking panel so it's 165 the final double page spread like he's he's such an Usopp, bro. I love it. I love. I'm. I, he's honestly growing on me so much. Are you on the final uh, spread of one? Yeah. Spread? Again, I, Look, I, I, it's such a great no, panel because you got the I two boys, say. the two like absolute like behemoth fighters, and then down, back there in the back, like he's walking with them, and he's like stressed and worried, but it's not like a comical worry. It's not like he's like making a dumb face in the background. He he's like there, and he's like, oh god, but he's going with them, and that's fucking awesome. Like like I, it makes I, me want to. He makes me want him to succeed. Like I look at him, I'm like, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, you know, you can do this. I need to cop that actually as a photo. That's just fucking good. <sighs> His art's so fucking good. Cause it's just like. Bro, <laughs> like, bro, I've been standing Ginro since the beginning, bro. Like, get on my level, bro. I yeah, no, I, he annoyed me at first. It, see, Ginro was similar to what, what happened with Usopp with a lot of people, whereas, like, Usopp in the very beginning, I didn't like him too much, but then I started liking him a lot, and now he's, like, one of my favorites. Hey, bro, I told you. Ah, oh, shit, I have to fucking... I have to get... I have to find a full panel, because the app, manga app doesn't, um... It does it like how like one side does it. You have to do it again to the other side. Yeah, so I can't... yeah. But uh, I'm not sure what's going on with your computer, but it keeps going doing the boo do do And just in future <laughs> reviews, you should probably try to get that fixed. Oh no, it, it was. <laughs> I, I mean, it. it's this is probably like the tenth time it's done it. Um, it's it's just the uh, if just Google's uh, notifications. I can I'll mute them. Yeah. In general, you should mute all notifications when we're filming. It's just so funny. The way you, the way you re- remake sounds, this is fucking hell. Bruh. In what way? Is it, is it good? Is it bad? No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. It's just you're really, uh, you bring happiness to my life, bro. You're just funny. <laughs> That's cute. But yeah, so I guess, how do you think this is going to play out, right? So now that, now that Sukasa just is in and he's about, and he, you know, where does this go from here? Like you said, stalemate. Honestly, I think it just depends on who's gonna crack first. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a, um, we have each other's bases under control, but mm. it's gonna be like who can who can escape hostage, hostage. That's true because like, you got Stanley over here who could now. But now here's the interesting part: doesn't Stanley assume uh, that Senku's dead? Is Senku being smart and like hiding in the plane? Yeah. Or did he get out? I need to check. Hold on. Because the one thing that. One thing that's no, actually... Seiko's out of the plane. I hope he's being smart and hiding. Because here's the thing. Um, well, this lady probably doesn't know who Senku is. But um, the thing is, though, he's he crashed away from the submarine or from the, the boat. So to Stanley, he's dead. Right. So To everyone friend, on their team other than Luna. Yeah. So unless Luna says, oh, no, Senku's still alive. You know, yeah. Um, so like that kind of gives them so, an advantage. Yeah, is that advantage they, because yeah. they, they think their leader is gone. So while while their leader is still out and about, Zeno, the leader of the opposite kingdom, is being held hostage. So see, now this is going to be the interesting part that I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Right, like whenever they eventually have their inevitable conversation, because like that's going to be interesting. Because again, from that flashback, which is one of my favorite parts of Doctor Stone recently, it's so obvious that him and Dr. Zeno had like a pretty special connection. And I feel like Dr. Zeno had to kind of like, like really grit his teeth to, to give the order to kill Senku. Right. And, and I don't feel, I feel like that was a, a one moment of like, okay, do it, you know? And, and then, and then like, yeah, okay, I never have to do that again. But once he realizes that, oh shit, he didn't die. I don't know if he's going to have the strength to like do that shit again. That's how uh, I read it anyway. Oh no, I feel that shit, bro. Yeah, and uh, one last thing I think too. I just loved how casual um, in the last chapter when they were invading their boat, the, the Doctor Zeno's boys just looked out at Luna and they're like, "Oh, hey, Luna." <laughs> hey, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really fucking funny. You simping for other men in here? Yeah, they don't know I like that, that simp works for both sides because then it can just be um, what it's. I know it's idolizing mediocre pussy, but it, it, what's the first S stand for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Either way, it can Wait, idolize Sim, a mediocre Sim penis. Something? Although, we don't know. We don't know. We need a canonical penis size for Senku now. Simp. Just not because he, cause he'll never fuck. I know he's never going to use it, but like mostly I just want to know like if his penis is worth simping for, for Luna's sake, you know? Simp. Wait, so the, so the every... 
Huh? Wait, so simp actually has like meaning each letter has a meaning? Are you fucking dumb? I just thought it was just like I'm on Urban Dictionary. It says someone who does way too much personality. Like, I I always use. Simp Wait, you've never you you didn't know that it stood for something? I knew it stood for what it. I knew the definition. I just didn't know like simp actually stood for something. Uh, no, I, I know was, that I never, it's um the the last three letters are idolizing mediocre pussy. I've never heard of that until just now. Uh, I've never I've never heard of that. I've never seen someone say that. Holy shit! Wow. That's because I because pretty... I I've never I've always used simp like I've always thought simp was unisex honestly I've, <laughs> I've seen it, it, I mean it, it, you can you, you can use it for both that's why it can be mediocre pussy or mediocre penis yeah here it is oh it's it stands for suck like you know like sucka like a sucka mm-hmm. sucka mm-hmm. who idolizes mediocre pussy oh okay yeah or a penis and you can yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh wow! Yeah. That's... Uh, so and usually it's just like it's used for the type of it, it's more apt for men typically because it's that fucking like you know men who chase after a girl and like give her all the attention but knowing that they'll everyone else around him is like he's she's never gonna date you my guy <laughs> you know usually Twitch streamers is the big one now people that'll donate like hundreds of dollars like maybe she'll date me it's just funny too the comeback for uh, she's never gonna date you my guy or he's never gonna date you queen is uh, incel slash femcel I've seen it on Twitter I've seen it I've seen I, actually I saw a woman um, who was uh, basically um, I saw it was a woman on Twitter who was like you should, women should stop saying you should stop uh, fuck all men like all men suck all men are trash you know posts like that tweets like that right those like harmful blah 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 and then like i've seen like a bunch of women in, like replies there to be like it's okay sis he's not gonna text back and then like after the responses to that were like oh shut up pin cell or something like that and it's like, <laughs> it's like for men like right like with, yeah like, see it's definitely overused because now like, much like any word that gets popular it starts getting overused so now i've seen people just being called simps for being like just semi nice to women. <laughs> Cause I, cause Treat women with respect. You must be a simp. Simp. Yeah, like I saw, I saw it too. With like, um, when it's like a man like saying like, you know, hey, yo, treat women right. You know, don't be, you know, a douche. And dudes are like. <laughs> It was okay, bro. She's not gonna text you back. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, just because, just because you, just because every decision you make is fucking fueled by your desperate attempt to get laid, doesn't mean it is for us. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> next time, fucking mute your Discord too. It's just this. It's happening. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> next time when we film, you, we've we've talked about this. <laughs> it had to happen in a minute. It's fine. All right, so let's cut off the video here, you know. <laughs> this motherfucker. This <laughs> get him a new, get him a new mic, and then another fucking problem pops up. It's wild. Um, but no, but yeah, so it's it, it's interesting because I've seen a lot of that on Twitter, and it's just like wow. Because I cause remember I told you I saw a uh, I saw a post, and I saw a bunch of like anti like people who who always say incel memes. Can you please was, fucking mute your Discord? Okay, let me. It's this. too much. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Oh, there we go. Right. So yeah, that's so, all it took. That was how quick. <laughs> yeah, you could have done just, that this whole time. It's just one. Cause no, this Discord, this specific channel didn't start boosting until it's it's just, called Wife Rewards, and people are rolling right now. So it didn't just start. Someone just started rolling. Oh. In the Discord. Okay. So that's basically it. But sure. um, anyway, as you were saying. Yeah, so I, I saw, so I saw it. I've been seeing memes like that on Twitter a lot, and I'm looking. I'm just like, hmm. I have to show you the, I have to show you the tweet that I that I was telling you about, about how like I saw like a bunch of people like. Right, right. Is this like, related to Doctor Stone at all? Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. I mean, I get both of these chapters. See, with both chapters combined, is an easier playing field, right? Mm. So. So I, I think I think I'm adding a rule for my ratings, right? If we do two chapters, I should increase the rating to twenty. <laughs> okay. Like should... Or or shocking idea, uh, treat both chapters as one chapter. Uh, yeah, that's but true. But if you want to be but... cheeky and different, go ahead and do the twenty. Yeah, I want to be cheeky and different. You know. Yeah. So I'm I'm sticking with my 20, 20 idea. Okay. So with these two chapters. I'm gonna give him a 15 out of 20. Good, good. A lot of good stuff. A lot of information. Decent fight track. Like, 
what, what, may, what boosted up for me is the submarine reveal. That's actually kind of dope. Uh, we have uh, Snoo 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 Whammon over here. As Which well. reveal? The, the submarine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, for it's sure. It's so small, but I still small, but I'm a child, so you know how that is, right? But don't forget about not not only the submarine reveal, but the Sukasa reveal, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, and then like a lot of good stuff, and then like the this panel right here and 165 definitely kills it. So definitely 15 out of 20 for sure. Yeah, uh, really quickly because I don't want people to be like you didn't mention them. Um, them fucking uh like hitting away all the grenades. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I like it that you know hit the reasoning that he can do that is because he trained to like smack away the petrification devices falling from the sky. I thought that was really neat. Like that yeah, even though he didn't know what grenades were, he was like, clearly these fucking orbs are dangerous, and that's, like, the thing that I've dealt with, so let's go. Mm-hmm. And then, um, <laughs> what else, then? What else? Uh, oh, cool. yeah, and then, and then the dude, Mozu, using the, the spinny spear, which is some, uh, the conversation he had with um, the one guy that uses the spinny spear when they fought on Treasure Island, remember? Mm-hmm. I remember, I remember reviewing that chapter, too, man. Ah, yes. Golden Child. All right. Well, I guess that's peace. Do you, do you go to work today? Yes, I do. I win. Uh, I have I still have time. I'm gonna get in a shower real quick. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Goodbye, everybody. All right. Peace.